Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina at City Bright Knits, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet bows inspired by Barbie. You will need a tapestry needle, four stitch markers, some scissors, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook, an accent yarn. I use Flash It from Hobby Yarns, and it's sparkly. And yarn for your bows. I'm using pinks, as well as a blocking board if you're going to make squares. Start by chaining 62. You will work your double crochet first step into this chain. Don't forget at the end of this, there are written instructions if you miss any part. Create the first side of the bow by double crocheting 11, and this will create the first leg. Then two double crochets into the next six stitches. That you're gonna double crochet 24, followed by a repeat of the first side. So two double crochet into the next six stitches, and then you're gonna finish with 11 double crochet to form the second leg of the bow. The curved area will form the round part of the bow loop. That's why you double crochet two into those stitches. Fold the ribbon in half, evenly distributing the 24 stitches that you crocheted in the middle section. This will be the knot and form the center of the bow. From the back side of the knot, you're going to pull through each leg of the bow towards the front, and you're going to work the loops so that they begin to form a bow shape. Your bows will look something like this, and you'll begin step two. Using your accent yarn, you will single crochet into each stitch around the bow, starting with 11 single crochet up the leg, five single crochet across the bottom part of the bow. You will continue by working two single crochet stitches into the next eight spaces. This keeps the round part of the bow. You will then work another five single crochet before you come to the center. At the center of the bow, skip over the knot. You do not need to stitch into it. Continue working five single crochet, and then two single crochet into the next eight stitches. Complete the whole exterior of the bow. Once you're finished, cut all the yarn and secure the ends. You will then attach your bows as an applique to whatever you want. I'm attaching mine to a granny square. Taking any granny square, secure the bow in place using stitch markers so that you can sew it on. With your tapestry needle, secure the bow onto the square. I like to sew between the single crochet stitch heads because this hides the yarn from being visible. Using a peg blocking board helps give your overall squares a nice shape. However, you don't need to use this if you're just making bow appliques. I hope you enjoyed making these Barbie inspired bows. It's a great way to add some sparkle and fun to your crochet and a great way to use up any extra yarns you have in your stash. Follow and subscribe for more.